Hello and welcome to this third part of our uh, tutorials on, on how to make small-scale environments using Cinema 4D and Octane Render. In the first part, we saw how to lay out the terrains uh, and uh, to use uh, how to use a, a layered uh, terrain approach to handle the rocks. In the second part, we uh, surfaced the terrains uh, using uh, uh, Quixel Mixer and, um, and uh, some uh, imported uh, texture maps as well as Megascan sets. Um, in this third part, we will we'll add some ground vegetation to the terrain and uh, handle its distribution. To do so, we will use Cinema 4D, of course, and Octane Render. And we will also go back to the seed we created in World Creator. Um, this is uh, to handle the uh, distribution of, um, of the grass on the terrain, to create a distribution map. And we'll use the Megascan bridge to locate our assets and then import them into Cinema 4D. Let's get started with World Creator. I have reopened the uh, terrain we were working on in the first part of the tutorial. So we want grass to appear on uh, flat surfaces, not on uh, rock surfaces and not on, uh, on mud and also not on areas that are too steep. These will remain uh, with only uh, stones in them. To add grass and to create the distribution map, let's go to the scenes and details layer and we'll create a layer called ground plants. Uh, I want to be able to see them easily so I'll add red ones. So this has been selected, toggle heat maps, to see where the plants will appear. Currently they have already been imported, but as the terrain is very large scale, you only see them if you zoom in very, from very close. But they are covering the whole terrain. We don't want that, we want them only, we don't want them at the bottom of the terrain because it's for the river, so let's remove them from the bottom okay and we don't want them on slopes uh, that are too steep so this uh, default selection of uh, 20 degrees is a bit too uh, restrictive uh, let's go back to 50 degrees and let us uh, remove the slope smooth smoothness. Uh, we'll see why in uh, later on. Uh, 50, um, 45. I'm a, I'm a bit annoyed by the, uh, the grasses appearing there. Uh, let's reduce it until they have disappeared. So now we have our distribution uh, map ready. Grass will appear in uh, Cinema 4D. In, uh, in these areas. We'll export this map uh, first. We'll rename it Grass Dist and uh, we'll export it. So it's in the heat maps, it's in the details. We'll export as PNG. Don't forget to flip X and to select the uh, layer to export and then export the heat map to the correct directory and now we have our distribution map that will work for the terrain we'll use it for with an octane scatter object okay and to set this up, uh, uh, I'll use a small cube. This will enable us to see uh, easily where the scatter is done. Currently, it does not uh, nothing appears because we need to select the surface on which scatter to scatter elements 
and there we go. We have selected uh, the grass surface and we have uh, no grass or rather squares appearing everywhere. So there are only 1000. If we increase it to 10,000, we can see immediately that something is wrong because the, uh, the, the squares are appearing everywhere and also they are a little buried into the uh, surface because of the displacement. Let's first handle this. The displacement in the, on this uh, area is handled by uh, these, uh, the displacement of the, of the terrain here. This one. Uh, oops. Let's uh, reduce it by making the mid-level 0.1 mm, maybe, maybe even making it 0.3 and now all the grasses will uh, appear um, to be more uh, out of the of the ground now we need to uh, make them appear only where we want them so let's use the scale parameter of uh, the octane scatter and load the uh, grass distribution as a shader and then boom grass only appears where we want them or we are closer than we were before but we are not exactly there because as you can see there are there is some grass in areas where there are rocks we need to subtract uh, these areas from here uh, in order to prevent uh, grass to appear in the middle of a rock so instead of this shader let's go to a layer and load a second map which will be, if you remember it from the first part of the tutorial, the rock surface heat map. Okay, so now it only appears where the rocks are, but what we want is to subtract this from the, um, the other map. So normally now uh, it should be a little better because Grass will only appear where there are, there are no uh, rock bumps. You know all these areas where the rocks stand out of the uh, of the terrain are avoided by the grasses. Now uh, our cubes look nice, but we need some real grass here, and uh, we'll uh, import some from Megascans. First, I will save this scene because this uh, uses a lot, uh, World Creator uses a lot of the uh, video board and uh, it's my computer is getting a little hot so I'm saving it. Yes, again, okay. and it should calm things down. Let's go to the bridge in which I have uh, selected the uh, assets I have already downloaded and there's one that immediately attracts my eyes which is the grass clumps so I will uh, import it into Cinema 4D so let's open the folder where the files are located and you see there are three variants these are, these are three different uh, grass objects in every variant there are li li different levels of details and here we have loaded it in fbx format so the largest one is the most detailed and then it reduces the number of polygons uh, i think we'll use the second level and let's first make a test in a scene okay so it loads in an in a separate scene and as you can see the materials have not been loaded so it's all gray 
will merge it with the other uh, plants. So now we need to find back the uh, directory that, that is open here. I know where it is, but this is a bit tricky. Mega scan downloaded 3D plant, and this is the one. So we'll import the three objects in the same in the same scene and handle the same. They all have, they all have the same texture, so we'll uh, apply it to all three. Okay, file merge objects and third variant okay okay now we are fine except for one detail if you look at a regular object in cinema 4d this uh, green arrow is pointing towards the top and in this case they are all pointing uh, laterally this is a problem because uh, the uh, if the object center is not centered is not properly set uh, the uh, octane scatter will uh, use uh, this ma these uh, uh, objects by uh, turning them uh, sideways. So we need to correct this, and we need to reset this uh, object axis with the green arrow up. So I'll enable axis and enable quantizing, and then rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. This is correct. Okay. And the third one. Now these uh, three objects are ready to be surfaced. Uh, uh, we'll create another material, a diffuse one. Grass. Okay, apply it to the three uh, grasses, and then we'll import from the Megascans directory uh, the surfaces we need. So albedo and no displacement, uh, glossiness, and we'll we'll treat it as a semi-translucent uh, uh, material, so no glossiness. So it will be a diffuse, normal, opacity, roughness, and translucency. Now that's translucency. We plug it to the transmission. Uh, roughness, opacity, uh, normal, and diffuse. It did not affect the scene because I'm not viewing it like this, but now it looks correct. Uh, we have uh, this lovely, uh, these lovely clumps of grass with two density levels. Um, what I like to do now is to save it as a separate file. I'll save it to the tutorials uh, directory, small scale terrain grass and then I'll merge the scene with the uh, main scene okay and uh, merge grass now I have my three grasses loaded they are probably in the middle of the scene. I'll move them under the octane scatter to replace the cube. And normally, oops, if, you, if I reload the scene, we should see grass exactly where we wanted it. It appears normally there's no uh, there's no grass appear appearing sideways. Let's adjust the density maybe to 50. Okay. So as you can see, the grass does not appear at all on the steep slopes. 50 is a, probably a bit too much because uh, the transition is a 
is uh, quite harsh. And we have our grasses everywhere in the scene. Let's take a look at the default camera view. You can see that the grass is uh, ideally located. Mm. Let's add a few more. One uh, small uh, default is that uh, the grass elements of the grass objects are all oriented the same way. This is the way uh, Octane Scatter works. Uh, to solve this, let's load a, a random effector and load it in the Octane Scatter. The random effector is not correctly uh, does not have the correct parameters because it changes the position and what we'd like is to change the size maybe maybe make them a bit larger and change the rotation to 360 mm. okay I'm not sure the grass is not a bit too big but uh, I think it works okay so uh, we can uh, load some different uh, species of grass uh, reduce the uh, density here and add another species of grass for instance uh, long grasses I have already done it so they're in the content browser grasses and reeds and uh, I think I named it gray grass these, these are three um, mega scans elements which I saved in uh, my content browser and uh, here they are if I add uh, these three uh, ray grass elements ray grass uh, to the default one uh, you quickly see that there are two problems the first one is that they lack any texture even though they seem to have texture let's uh, clean things a, a bit uh, in here and then let's remove your, your news material there are some um, they lack uh, any texture and they are far too numerous so let's remove them from the octane scatter and duplicate the octane scatter add them in another one and then what I do is reduce the number while doing so uh, I have to solve the um, the uh, uh, material problem which was probably a small bug uh, let's maybe add some more so if you um, if you import uh, some um, uh, ass assets from uh, Megascans into your content uh, browser library you will uh, soon have uh, uh, lots of uh, different assets including plants to populate your scenes like this and it will be way quicker than importing them one by one you can either save them in uh, separate files cleaning them up uh, not like unlike what i did uh, without removing the um, the um, uh, additional textures or uh, save them in the content browser. The problem with the content browser being that for every uh, item stored, uh, it will create a, a separate um, texture. Um, you can merge them, but um, but uh, you will still have to do it after importing them. So it's a bit uh, a bit of a problem uh, if you have a large scene with lots of elements. But otherwise, it works quite well. So here's the uh, grass distribution looked from close and you can see that uh, the, um, the ray grass uh, appears in the middle of the grass and, is, and looks quite good. 
So I think we'll stop it there. Maybe change uh, the uh, light a bit to show more or less of the scene. Uh, let's try to orient this that way. You can see that the scene looks uh, rather natural with the uh, grass where it should be and uh, and uh, rocks uh, appearing uh, only on some uh, on some areas. So to summarize, um, importing uh, uh, well use uh, Web Creator to um, to control distribution in a more efficient way to prevent grass from growing in in the water or on the or on the rocks. And then uh, import uh, Megascans assets. You can use uh, the uh, content, uh, the browser, the bridge, and uh, or you can uh, locate the files on your hard disk and then load them one by one. I um, prefer to load them on a separate uh, scene uh, be before because you uh, you can see better um, the uh, how they how they look and you can import them afterwards. That's all for today. I hope it has been useful and uh, that you will create a, a nice little environments like this one with uh, this advice. See you in a later tutorial.